Yo, so what is going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Now today is the return of the fans back to the Crown Oil Arena. The last time we were sat in the Crown Oil Arena was watching a live game of football against Championship side and Rotherham United where we beat them 3-1. Goals from Matty Lund who is now departed from the club. Gone Salford for the money. Uh, Ian Anderson, same place. Uh, and yeah, today's game is against Fleetwood Town and the Cod Army. So, let's shout out Cod Fogs or Ben Knapman if you are watching. Shout out to you. Um, been in streams throughout lockdown. Been really fun being part of those streams and becoming moderator of his, uh, streams as well. So, thank you, Ben, for that. Today's game, Fleetwood Town, the return of Cowan Camps yet again to Crown Oil Arena. This time without Joey Barton as a gaffer because it's Simon Grayson. Now, now last time Simon Grayson was at the Crown Oil Arena, he managed Fleetwood's rivals Blackpool. So I'm looking forward to today's game. I'm going a 2-1 win to Dale. I'm going to go Cal Camps to score against us. Yeah, I don't know why. I just thought, you know, come to the Crown Oil Arena last time, didn't score. Cal Camps to score. Uh, I'm going to go Alex Newby to score and Aaron Marley today. So... Mixing up my goal scorers from usual, I'll see you in the next clip or preferably down at Crown Oil Arena. Right, speaking of Rotherham United, we do actually have them in a pre-season friendly Tuesday night at the Crown Oil Arena, so I'll be going to that. Um, sorry the camera's shaking at the moment, I've got my arm resting on a sofa which is boiling hot because I'm in the conservatory. And you know what, I'm going to stand up so it's less shaky because I stand up. And it's burning my arm, so if that was a bit shaky. Yeah, we do actually play Rotherham United in pre-season friendly. So hopefully another win for it. We always seem to beat Rotherham. I don't know why. Like, we can't beat Oxford. But we can go and beat Championship. Oh, it's just ridiculous. I don't understand that. But, yeah. I just like to wish Michael Appleton as well, the Lincoln City manager, good luck on his procedure. And hope he makes a speedy recovery. He is battling testicular cancer at the moment. So I do wish him all the best. Good luck in his procedure and a massive speedy recovery. And there you have, in eyesight, the Crown Oil Arena. 16 months since we were last in that stadium watching Rochdale play Rotherham United. A 3 1 victory. Robert Sanchez is going to get his last clean sheet for a day. But a jammy little goal from Rotherham. So, I'll take all three points on the last game at the Crown Oil Arena. Now, the goals are from Matty Lund and Ian Henderson, two former players that are now at Salford. Gone for the money. <laughs> so, I've got my dad with me today. So, Dad, when was the last time you was in this? Boxing Day, what year? Oh, in the 90s. In the 90s, with my Uncle Wayne standing up he's not been here obviously due to work and stuff um working seven days a week 80 hours which is double the normal person that works so he's not had time really but now i saw him in the past he has got time on his hands so he'll be here watching football more often so that'll be a few away days as well i might drag him down to swindon if we can i don't even know what's going on at that club anymore speaking to harvey about it not looking good but there crown oil arena pre-season 17th of july up the dale right so i'm back at the crown oil arena got luke on a chance today you know that? so what's the score prediction for today uh i'd say one nil down you go one nil right shall we yeah. scorer uh not sure to be honest I, i'd say jim mcnulty if it's playing oh old jimmy mcnulty yeah so, what's your thoughts of being back here, which is the Crown Oil Arena, 16 months since it was last there. I mean, I was sat up there for the Robert game. Now this is my new home in San Jose, San So, sorry if your camera's shaking, I'm actually sweating, but what's your thoughts about that? It feels good to be back after 16 months and be able to watch live football again. Feels amazing. I mean, it's that 2020 when we were doing the Newcastle vlog over there as well. And do not consider way Doncaster away. No one expects this virus to hit, and it was kind of weird because Boris has looked at spotters in lockdown, he didn't want to, but he had to do it for our own health and safety, kind of for the best, in my opinion, because we won't be here today 
if Boris hadn't have done that. So it's like to say a massive thank you to Boris, the National Health Service as well, for getting us through this pandemic, some tough times. But here we go. Rochdale versus Fleetwood Town, here we go. Right, so we're heading in the vlog today. Thoughts on David Bottomley, BBM gone, and Stockdale as manager. Brilliant. Uh, glad they've gone. Um, Stockdale, I think he's a great appointment for the Rochdale team. Um, hope he does well. It sounds promising. Um, looking forward to today's game. Missed it. Absolutely missed it. Glad to be back. What's your score prediction against the Cods? Um, I hope for a dare win, but I actually do think 2 1 Fleetwood. He's being a pessimist. I think Callum Council will come in the us, but I do hope for a Rochdale win. I think it's Callum Council's here in October. It didn't haunt us, it was Harvey Saunders. But he's gone Bristol now, so it doesn't matter about that. Obviously, the point is Simon Grayson as manager last season. It's a good coach, Simon Grayson. But the thing is, League One's going to be a real test for him next season. I mean, the, it was 16th with Blackpool by the time they sacked him, which I didn't think that would happen when he appointed Simon Grayson, because when he came here in August, it was amazing. I mean, we got a 0 0 draw at Blackpool, but my God, towards the end, we almost fucked that up, didn't we? I mean, Sanchez pulled off that fantastic save to keep us in the game, no, no draw. You're so, also, you're also interested to see who we bring in this season. Hopefully, we bring in a few good, good players. I think it'd be a good week two season. Can't wait. One more thing, up the fuck. Up the deal. So, like an idiot, I'm outside the stadium because I picked up my tickets for the Rotherham game, but like an absolute numpt it, I left my season card in the club shop, so. Uh, I've got to go get it now. I thought I'm, we're missing someone. I realise it's the season card that's in here. Great start to the match, everyone. Problem solved, there it is. Yeah, I left it in the ticket office like an absolute numpty, but anyways, I'm on the way back into the Crown Oil Arena for today's game against Fleetwood's out up the dale. Better players training before this friendly gets underway. We got a Brad Wade there. I don't think we've got a goal this season, do you? I will be stays this season. Uh, Jay Lynn first keeper, and we'll have Brad Wade a second. I reckon he'll be our cup keeper. Like Jay Witch is our cup keeper. I reckon Brad Wade will be our cup keeper. That'll be Carbon Cup, FA Cup, and Papa John's Trophy Cup. Here we go, what are we waiting for? Go on and go! Finally, this is what we've been waiting for. See the process by everyone here today and the Crown Oil Arena. What's going on? Dale, 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 Who's got a kick off? Is it us or Fleetwood? Captain Nolan O'Connell to decide that. This is the ones playing in the background. Classical tune. So we're getting the kick-off underway, taking the knee. Less than a minute into the game, good chance to have my old graph on over the bar for a fleet with goal kick. There's a long ball there by Jim McDulty. See how I'm with the ball now. Good player last season. Key part of our squad, despite us going down. So one of the best players that we had last season. Gives it to Marley. Big Jim McNulty on the ball. Got his FA Cup shirt. 
我有烤炉，但是有限。我煮了鸡饭 ，nice。Impacts already, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. Stockdale's Barbie Harvey, everyone. And people call Rochdale shit. Just look at that. Look at Sweetwood Town. <laughs> Sweetwood are a new tap to do this. Great there by Harvey Rappel. It's out. Corner. Corner ball to Fleetwood. It, there's our child that's there. Number two. Lovely ball by Jim and Noe. Alex Ruby's just trying to get in the header there. Was that for a Fleetwood throw? Attack here by Fleetwood Town. Good Ali. Good Alex. Not so far, Luke. Uh, right, I started off really strong, but we're kind of backing down a little bit. And just lay back. Huh? So just lay back. Yeah. Get a second goal towards the end of the game. 2 0, buried it. Yeah. Corner ball, Cods, everyone. Quick with town corner. <laughs> Ball Rochdale. Ball comes in. Come on, Ollie, chase it up. Just shoot from there. It's worth an effort. It's also worth an effort. Do it. Oh, 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 oh,
He's always just kept that here. I don't know how, but come on. Do it. Uh, the goal scorer for today. Clips it over, straight to the hands of Alex Collins. We were on the attack here. Tries to sneak it in. Out of the air post. Go that ball. It's there to block it. The Fleetwood Town corner. Tried beating us at the near post, it never works, does it? Yeah. Number one rule as a goalkeeper, do not get beat at your near post. So the attacker's there, Jay Lynch does not want to get beat there. It's a simple goalkeeper rule that. You learn it in training quite easy, don't you? Well, yeah. you don't play goalkeeper, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah. You're out by McNulty there. Heads! <laughs> oh, my own Connell there. Trying to find him, Dooley. Oh, I imagine supporting Oldham. How shit must you be to support Oldham, eh? Oh, I don't even know, man. <laughs> Feels weird seeing home fans in our away end. Don't know how well you can see, I can see. Only just, I do need glasses. Exactly. The meeting you say we're playing well. First by all your cuddle there. That's a block move, eh? You throw in. Don't pull it. Mm. I'm about to say, don't pull it back. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't you know wrap on. <laughs> Lynch here to take the goal kick. Boom. I love his long balls. His long balls are fantastic. Marley. Foul there, Aaron Marley. Free kick, Ratchel. Free kick, Gayum. But Owen, lovely ball. But oh. Owen, so keep in. Nice. For oh, Nube. Oh. I'm sweating cobs. Oh. 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 Second goal.
still play a bit of our old style, aren't we? Yeah. Still play a bit round the back. But not as much though, so yeah, not, not that, much. That, that's good, that's good. Yeah, speaking of pushing up. Go on, Molly. Go on, Keohan. Can we go out this way? What's the save with Jeff? Jay Lynch with the save as well. Four minutes additional time. Go on. Is that all I can see? Never mind, never mind. But four minutes onto the first half and half time. First starts on this game. We opened it quite well. Scoring the first 20 minutes um, by Stephen Dooley. Someone I didn't expect to score today, I put Aaron Morley and Alex moving on to score today. I think, I don't know what the lineup is second half because it is pre season and we do switch it around pre season. So we'll see what the second half has to hold up. Up the day, oh. there we go. Right, so it's half time, Dad. What's your thoughts on the first half? Absolutely superb, passing fantastic, yeah. Saved quite a few goals, goalkeeper saved that. Probably saved there, yeah. I think it uh, could be 2 0 here for the day. 2 0. I've gone 2 1. We always concede. But in this new style of playing football, I don't think we concede. Because Jay Lynch has been fantastic, Oli Don Carlos has been fantastic, McNulty. Um, Keohan as well has been fantastic, Newby, they've all been fantastic. Seattle is a 2 1 win. Second half's about to come out, I need the help up. Hey, Eddie, you help us up. Right, cards! Oh, give us an old man. Smell it. <laughs> Captain Alex Carter, if we can tell him. Second half underway at the Crown Oil Arena. Luke, what's your full time score you going? Um, I'm gonna go with 2 1 Rapshaw. Same as me. You got 2 1 all day, haven't you? Yeah. I can't even remember what I said. But yeah, just thought if you change your mind, just put the score in. I mean, I'll change my mind. I think it's gonna be 3 1 at this rate. Dad sat down there. Don't know how he can see, but he can see. He's got better eyes out than me. Watch <laughs> Free kick Fleetwood Town. Fair free kick to Fleetwood there. Call ball to Fleetwood. Lovely free kick from Fleetwood. One bomb. With attack, so do well to keep it in. Going to Dale.
Looks like our Ethan Bradley local lads coming on here. Come on, Ethan. After this drinks break, I think we're gonna make a substitution. Ethan Bradley did say if he was gonna score, he'd come running to this sand because this is where Ethan Bradley used to sand the sandy lane sand. So he come running to this sand if he gets the ball past that captain Alex Carnes there. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Looks good for us. Substitution for Greenwood Tower as well. Off number 24, Dan Batter, and number 7, Carl Johnson. Batter, Carl Johnson, I was going to say. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he's here. Okay. I didn't even see that to be fair. I don't know what happened. I was just looking at my phone next to it. I see the ball rolling. Quite, it's rolling to the bottom corner. 3 1 to Dale. Yeah, it's an own goal because he's not said it, has it? It's an own goal. Yeah, it must have been an own goal because he's not said it. But which I was just looking at my phone next to it. I see the ball rolling. I thought, quick, get the camera out. But she's captain it, just going in the bottom corner. Up the down. Up the down. Oh, make it 4-1. Oh, new bay. Can Jimmy keep your hands? Connor Grant's number 11. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's Connor Grant there. Number 11. Yeah. So just watch it back. Keep it on The pass from there. Alex Card slipped, nutmegged him, and that's how it went in. So yeah, that was how the third goal was scored. Good! Shoot! Shoot! Oh my god! Oh! Oh Jesus Christ!
two yellow cards, game off. Oh, well done. He's captain now, isn't he? Oh, I'm in! Oh, 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 Three two. Which is bad at bottom corner. Go on, push and forth, make it four two. Lovely. Lovely ball by Brad Wade. Good Jimmy. Captain number 10 for Fleetwood anymore. Mm -hmm. They're taking up. Mm -hmm. Fucking Dre Dre. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. Say bye, Brad Wade. Two nice Fleetwood Town. I'm a goal for a free kick, but it's Carl Bob Fleetwood Town. Well, one minute to score a last minute goal. Can it be done? Looks like it. No one's there. Who's there? Boy, he can just snap the cunt. Fuck. There we go, full time at Crown Arena. A free key to all with Fleetwood Town. As we see you all up. Fleetwood certainly do know how to get back in the game. We've given some tough tests. That's why I'm going to leave one. And we're releasing one.
Bob Good Fight for the safe week with Tom. That's Tuesday night, Robert United here, the Crowd Oil Arena. So it's been amazing seeing fans back inside the Crowd Oil Arena for this pre season friendly. God knows what the season's going to be like. Fuck that's it, Tuesday night, up the day on.